Uh, I don't really like to comes. speak of this incident. It is hard. Um, so if the, do the best you can, brother. All right. Thank you. Um, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. He uh, did a rosary. Before. <laughs> God damn, you know the words, too. It sounds like the other radio station's crossing over right now. I know. <laughs> the Catholic station uh, cut into our stream, uh, by the way. So, um, our Father can or cannot collaborate with this. This was in his house in Illinois. Now, it was the if summer... If he collaborates, make sure he's on the mic. <laughs> so, it was the summer of 1993. My good friend Gary Gear, and my other friend, not so good friend, but Shane Anton. See, we lived in Illinois. It was on the border of Wisconsin in Illinois. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was in Antioch, which was a uh, boon town, or in the boonies, as I like to say. Right. So we were on a, what, half acre plot surrounded by cornfields. Well, so everyone like knows no. Evanston's where it's at, man. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so... I don't know if I should tell this before or after. So, I found this out after the story, but Gary's dad worked at the uh, power plant. Oh, <laughs> I, I know it's hard. Which we found out. We can get through this. Which we found out that they dumped barrels of waste from the power plant in one of the cornfields <gasps> near us. Near us. I don't know if that affects us. From the water or anything. The harvest is going to be good That's this it. year. <laughs> the atomic plant, yeah. So his, oh, his wow. dad knew that they dropped, yeah, they, they. Okay, so that, that was going on in these cornfields. So Gary and Shane went out through one of the cornfields just looking for stuff, and they saw a blue light. I'm like, oh, man, there's a blue light. Let's go follow it. So they follow it. Was this like in the sky or in the trees or in the cornfield? In the cornfield, high above, from what I understand, from what they told me, and they saw it out there, and it led them to a little um, grave. Someone that made the grave. In the grave, it said Baby M on the cross. It was like a cross. What the fuck? I just got goosebumps. I'm like all, oh. (laughs) So, So knowing that, Gary came over to my house, our house, one night with a Ouija board that he bought. Because he used to go to uh, garage sales and church um, uh, sales and stuff like that and just buy stuff. He bought a canoe once and he bought uh, uh, you know, instruments. But he brought, he brought a Ouija board over to our house. We didn't have the plushant thing, but what we got was a uh, uh, teacup and used that as, as a thing. So we were like, hey, let's, let's play around with it. We saw all the horror movies. He had a book like Ouija boards. Do not play with them because it's that one, like, the warning enters the other realm. And you're like, ah, that's, that's funny. How that's... old were you at this point? So I was about 93. Um, <laughs> Years old. No. <laughs> <laughs> How old would I be? It, it was, like, uh, senior year of high school, so whatever that would be. Mm-hmm. What, God 17, damn, 18? dude. You don't look that old. Just throwing it out there, ladies. <laughs> so... Married with children. He doesn't. Because um, I know that panic. me and Bob were, like, eight. <laughs> Yeah, you guys probably. Now they like them. grizzled and ugly fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Also, during that time too, there was a teen suicide. One of the one kid, like a block over, blew his head off with a shotgun. Holy shit! So just to set the scene a little bit more. Satanic. Panic. There's gonna be a wager. Like, what's it gonna be? Toxic ghosts? <laughs> teen suicide? Like <laughs> a homicidal maniac with a red and brown striped sweater with the claws roaming the neighborhood. Oh my god! Just like one, two, Freddy's coming for you. <laughs> So it was built up too much. It, 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 it was freaky. It was more telling the story is not as freaky as it actually being a part of it. But we were we were doing it, doing it around the circle, circle eights, blah blah blah, and we we're like, oh, let's spice it up. And you know, we had some a candle going and some like creepy music. It was a tape player that was playing. So we were uh, doing that. And we we're like, okay, nothing's working. Let's contact Baby M. Dude, that. Oh man, <laughs> that's a terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's a baby, which if you that's even creepier if you think about that because like there's a whole other thing about babies when they die. So we decided to contact Baby M. We did it. It, it started spelling out. I'm trying to remember exactly, it spelled out a name. It seemed like it was a Indian name, like an American Indian name. I forget what exactly it was. Native American, please. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? I said <laughs> American. <laughs> Whoever we conquered to take over this land. Right. In Illinois. 
So we do not condone conquering of any kind on KDAF. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the airwaves. <laughs> 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 that was great. So we did that. It spelled out a name. We're like freaking out. We're like, okay, we got a name. This is crazy. And then the more I think we're asking questions, and all of a sudden, like the tape player stopped. And we're like, okay, it's weird. So we hit the tape player again. Did it again. The candle went out. And we're like, oh shit. And then. Uh, no, that's about it. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> and but, then he died. <laughs> but no, then we freaked out. We like flipped the board over. I know Gary like threw out the the board because we got this name. We tried to look up. This was you know right at the beginning of the internet, trying to look up the names if it meant anything. That was like the very beginning of the internet, like ninety three, ninety four. Yep. Uh, <laughs> but then after that, <laughs> the internet, so signing on. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That sounds more like it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> So after that, okay, so uh, I think you guys are still living there. Our father decided to conquer the world, leave Illinois, go to Arizona. So it was just me and my sister who stayed in the, uh, Illinois as the house was being sold. It was a huge you know, two-story, five-bedroom house, something like that, with a basement. Mansion. Mansion, Jeez. the Calabrese Manor. <laughs> <laughs> Manor, I love it. This man behind you is a, uh, a business genius. Yeah, we lost money on when we sold. <laughs> so like we were there, and then af- after that happened, okay, so there were so many incidents of, like, hearing something. You hear the door open, people coming home. It's like, oh, okay, Gina's home. So I go out there, oh, no one's, no one's there. And then, like, hearing footsteps going up and down the stairs, like, oh, okay, uh, yeah, hey, Gina, what's going on? Oh, not there. Yo, this is David Calibre. Thanks for watching that video. Make sure to check out more videos here and here. Subscribe if you haven't. Join the Calories Cult. And, uh... I'll catch you on the flip side.